another special edition of Com Exposed. This is uh, Zimbabwe's two most favorite geeks. My name is Eugene Mopondera. And I'm Tino Makoni. And we've got a really, really, really interesting guest for you today, Mr. Zoro Makamba. What's up? Welcome to the show. Thank you. How do you feel right now? I feel like I need a, a geek t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm out of place. I'm not. I'm. I'm not dressed appropriately. Well, well, it's not about. It's not about what's on the outside that matters. It's about what's on the inside. Haven't we all heard it before? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So we got a bunch of questions for Zoro, and we know he's been asked so many things before, and you've probably heard the typical questions: What does he do? How did he get started? Blah blah blah. Uh, today we got a bunch of questions for him that. Uh, pretty much worth tuning in for. Yeah, so I'm just going to test you. Are you ready? Yeah. How do you feel? Let's do it. All right. This is different being on the other side. Uh -huh. I'm usually the one asking questions. Uh -huh. So let's see what you got. And, and now it's two two geeks on one guy. I almost want two. two geeks and a what? <laughs> <laughs> almost wanted to do an evil laugh there. Welcome to our world. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... You guys are weird. <laughs> <laughs> in a good way. In a good way. No, I'm, so, just, I'm just messing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so here we are. We do comic books. We're interested in comic books. Comics posed is the comic comic book convention, the Zimbabwe comic book convention. And um, just to get into your mind and find out what you know, I'm going to ask this question. If we were to go through all your childhood stuff, if we were to raid you, you your parents' place. Right. Yeah. And um, go through your, your closet, look under your bed. What kind of comic book related uh, material or stuff would we find if we were to find any at all? You wouldn't find any at all. I think the... I don't even know where my comics were or where they were. I think they were given maybe to my cousins mm -hmm. uh, who were younger than me. So you actually had some? Back in the day. Uh -huh. what, what, what titles my, were you? My brother's older and he mm -hmm. used to get comics. I think I used to get the hand-me-downs. Wow. You know, <laughs> Second-hand <laughs> comics. Uh, that's tough. When he was that's done. Tough. But wow. I, haven't, I haven't... The only time I ever freeze and pay attention mm -hmm. and, and focus on what's happening with regards to comics is when they're having the big... What's it called? Comic-Con? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Wow. In the States. Yeah, You're one of the few people I, that we've met who actually knows I was in about a it. I was in a fraternity when I was in the States, Alpha Kappa Psi, mm -hmm. and um, this guy in my pledge class, Joe Wright, mm -hmm. was a comic geek. All right. And when you're pledging, you know, you have to go through all these crazy initiation things and mm -hmm. different events and trying to get into the brotherhood. So we yeah. spend a lot of time together. Yeah. Um, and he'd always, you know, when we're waiting to, the call, to get called in, mm -hmm. um, Always What's the craziest thing he ever did that you that you can remember, which is comic book related? He did a very good um, Joker impression. It was hmm. always funny. Uh -huh. It was ah. always funny. I wish Joe, man. I wish you could do it. I wish you were right here, right now. <laughs> I'll be shout out to him. All right. But I mean, for like the that whole semester when we were pledging, uh -huh. I that's when I heard, you know. Awesome. I heard a lot about comics. All right. And, Joe Wright. and if you can think back, uh, which titles did you have from your hand me downs? Which ones did you have? Which ones did you enjoy? I have no idea. I can't even remember. <laughs> you didn't, you didn't, you didn't have a you Dennis the Menace, not a, Dino, a favorite hero Archie. or a favorite team. No, I. You know, I. I see all the movies coming out and Marvels especially, mm -hmm. and I'm always trying to piece out. Okay, this comic, this edition, they had this dude, and now the movie's coming out. Mm -hmm. It's reflecting mm -hmm. that. Like I'm just so confused. I, I'm just someone who goes, watches the movie, gets entertained, and I and I switch off all afterwards. Right. So if I, you had a choice, if you went to the cinemas and you saw, uh, I don't know, some dramatic feature film, and then right next to it was, let's say, Avengers: Age of Ultron, which would you end up going in? Considering, yeah, you don't have super deep comic background. Uh, it depends what the feature form is, and it depends who I'm with. All right, it's always, always important, right? So, so let's especially, say, especially if, you know, if you're paying. Okay. <laughs> now, now this qu this question this question might get you into trouble with your dude friends based based on what you just said. So let's say they made a sequel to Gone with the Wind, Gone yeah. with the Wind two or three or right. something. Right. Right. What's then, Gone with the Wind about? I don't know. It's a really. This old, might be a bad example. Yeah. Okay. Titanic 2. Okay. <laughs> there go, right, there you yeah, go, yeah, right? Yeah. And um, you've got Avengers Age of Ultron. Mm -hmm. And you're in the company of a, one of those lovely companions. Which one do you pick? If I'm with the, I'm with, I'll do what the chick wants to do. Right. Of course. So you're a jock. You're definitely not a geek. You're one of the cool dudes playing football, picking on the dude who's probably going to inherit superpowers and teach you a lesson. <laughs> 
Is that how you guys are on girls? <laughs> <laughs> no, like no, for real. Like, how, you know how do you guys mac? Yeah. How do we mac? Yeah. So, like, actually, if the chick wants to spend time with you, right? So mm-hmm. you go over to the crib. Mm-hmm. Um, what do you guys, after you've introduced the Nana CC and your mom or whoever's <laughs> at home mm-hmm. and you're chilling, what do you guys? What do you guys talk about? So, did you see that last comment? No, no, no. Well, okay. To be honest, the, the the whole comic book thing, it's it's a culture, right? And um, my my girlfriend and I actually watch comic book movies together. Really? Yeah, and we did not meet over a comic book, surprisingly. Why is he not going? Because I have yet to be so fortunate <laughs> as to find someone that way. But well, like, if you found a chick who's into that stuff, mm-hmm. yeah, would would that like be the ultimate turn on? Absolutely not. I mean, at the end of the day, um, well. Sci-fi, comic books, and all that stuff, it's, it's an interesting world. It's an interesting world, and it's a great way to escape from reality. Yeah. Some people choose to do it differently. You know, some people drink their heads off. Mm. Some people bash their heads in a football game. No, 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 no that's not directed at you. But you get what I mean. We all have different forms of escapism. And right. comic books and sci-fi, that kind of thing, that's what really gets geeks interested in, away from reality. Yeah. But... And that, uh, but my experience, mm-hmm. a lot of ladies, it's just the story. Yeah. So whether it's about superheroes or dragons or <laughs> racing or whatever, right. it's just the story. If the story is good, they'll watch. I mean, in, in comics, is always the happy ending, usually, right? The good always prevails? Uh, not necessarily. No, not, 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 no, no, not, no, no. Okay. No. We, we got, we got okay. Peter Parker lost his girlfriend. She, she died. Um, yeah, he got spawn. He, he died, then came back all burnt up. Yeah. Not very nice. Okay. Um, the Walking Dead, I mean, they kill off someone from the cast every week. Um, the list is endless. Like Game of Thrones. Love there you go. Thrones. Hey, you're not so bad. <laughs> Value addition. <laughs> would you read a Game of Thrones comic? Like, if you liked the show, would you do you know what I comic? really enjoyed? Um, was the Bible in a comic version. I had that. I, had, oh. I, had I actually had went, I went through the whole thing in like uh, two weeks. Mm-hmm. And it was just so much more interesting. The pictures, yeah. and, you know, and just the little speech bubbles. Yeah. yeah. Hey, well done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's <laughs> almost <laughs> awake. He's like getting there. <laughs> it's only been five minutes. But, but I, think, I, think, I think it just depends. Things that are very hard and just ugly and just boring to read, if yeah. they presented and illustrated that way, yeah, yeah, for sure. Do you think um, you, you studied communication? Yeah. Do you think things like comic or illustrative media like that are used enough, especially in Zim? Really, we've seen a lot of the same thing repeated and repeated and repeated. Do you know what? I think if we had a thriving sort of satire, I wouldn't say market, but if we had more satire um, Mm -hmm. prevailing in our print and online Mm -hmm. media, I think um, that would be fantastic. I mean, I follow Sinek Harari on Twitter, and he's hilarious. Mm -hmm. Imagine if he had his own blog. Or if he True. was had a podcast that he mm. did, just to follow up on that, and then we start seeing um, magazines, weekly mags, or just an insert in some of the papers. I think the current conditions, people would be a bit skeptical about that, and mm. and you know. But I think especially when things are, are difficult and tough, yeah. it's, it's great to have a laugh and poke fun at people. Yeah, that's it's um, really interesting. You should say that. Uh, the other day we were getting and they're expensive, of course. <laughs> Yeah. The other day we, we were getting interviewed on a different show and, and the first question that we were asked when we walked in was, so are you guys funny? And then we were kind of confused, but I'm starting to realize that there is a great need for satire and some lighthearted material out there. I mean, some of those cartoons, and I mean, that's old school cartoons are always featured in papers, yeah. but mm-hmm. some of the cartoons that come up in the, in the mainstream media, like the print, are really, really funny. Mm-hmm. So if we could see more of that or get to hear more from these artists, the guys who are actually drawing them, yeah. how long does it take, what inspires them, um, I think that conversation would just completely lead into something else, uh, which would be good for entertainment, jobs, etc. Do you have a favorite newspaper weekly-like thing? Um, Local or otherwise? I enjoy The Independent. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I do. Um, they were they were talking. Uh, can I? Sw- <laughs> can I swear? We can we can bleep. It's okay. That will be the first bleep on our show. Wow, right. you, we, you're we, gonna we get a, an award or a T-shirt for that. I can't swear on radio. I'm not commending. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. you know what I mean. Don't mind. The geeks um, permitted. 
<laughs> I wasn't happy with an article they did on on Telesol recently, but yeah. um, they uh, they I, I I like I like the guys who contribute, especially their opinions and analysis. Yeah. It's All a, right, it's a solid paper. Would you like your life as a cartoon strip, like a weekly? Do you think you could? That's yeah. something that you would work for. A, let's say a, a personality like yourself or someone in your. Kind what of do you career? guys think? Actually, that was going to lead to my next question. Like, which part of your childhood or your adulthood, or, yeah, which part of your life in general do you think would make the basis of a really entertaining comic book? I think right now, mm-hmm. um, do you know what's so funny is that you, you guys, when you're listening to radio, mm-hmm. it seems flawless. The yeah. transitions, the music, you guys have no idea how chaotic it is <laughs> when the music is on and you're interacting with guests or your producer, it's, it's chaos and you've got like five seconds before you go on and it's like, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, ZFM Serial. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I think the behind the scenes yeah. of making programs and producing them, mm-hmm. I think to the build up of it, I mm-hmm. think that would be, that'd be pretty funny. I mean, guys, guys go at each other. Wow. Yeah, it's, I was, I was um, actually joking with Eugene earlier in the week that it, it feels like, or it seemed like when we were in the studio, oh, that yeah. People on radio live in three-minute segments. So while the music's playing, something else is going yes. on. Mm. We don't even oh, realize as the listeners. Mm. And then they're back. Yeah. And in that three minutes... <laughs> so much happens. It's, it's, it's chaotic. All the time. And you're used to that. You go through that every day. Yeah, it's, it's part of, it's part of um, the whole process. It's part of the That'll process. That'll make like, for a high-speed yeah. comedy. It's, just, it's funny when you see your guests and you know, someone comes in with... A spot lock that you know that's updated, and someone calls you. They're just sitting there, scared. Like, okay, when do I need to talk? <laughs> and all this chaos is happening around them. And you tell them, stand by in five, and they just look at you crazy. What so a bomb is gonna go off right, each right. one. <laughs> I think that'd be interesting if, if for comic. Yeah, that would be coming. Yeah. Yeah.